review about Razer Phone. It is always refreshing to see a new face on the smartphone landscape, especially one as reputable as Razer, a major player on the thriving PC gaming scene. You don't necessarily have to appreciate Razer's style and portfolio, but you'll most likely agree that the PC master race audience is a tough one to please. Razer has made a name for itself by managing to do just that, catering to the fickle gamer crowd's whims and fancies. This is probably the best kind of track record to bring along when setting off to explore Android as a mobile gaming niche. An idea that few have dared to pursue. Mobile gaming is far from dead, nor is it a niche activity per se. Quite on the contrary, it's a growing fad and probably the one that's best equipped to accommodate a busy modern lifestyle. In a pleasant turn of events, Razer actually went for a near-stock ROM on its ambassador Android device. The handset runs a surprisingly clean Android 7.1.1 Nougat ROM, with a very minimal app package on top. It is good to see that Razer oriented itself quickly in the Android realm and the performance benefits of a bloat-free OS. The Razer phone is powered by the same Snapdragon 835 we have already seen and thoroughly tested in most of this year's flagship devices. Naturally, Razer decided to throw the 8GB RAM number round as well. Like we have said before, it is hardly a game-changer within the current state of the Android OS, resource management and typical mobile app loads. Dual 12MP Snappers There's no real point in beating about the bush here, camera was clearly not a priority for Razer. On paper, the dual main setup looks decent enough, which is probably good enough for the PR effort. However, most every aspect of Razer's first smartphone camera experience is underwhelming, 